Hi Kings, this is Trishelle and Hope and Destiny and behind the camera is Fred here in Uganda at our home and we thought we would give you an update of what's been happening in the last couple of months since we returned home from Australia. As you can see the girls are growing very quickly and it has been actually a crazy couple of months. Um, to be perfectly honest I struggled to adjust coming back here but now I'm feeling a lot more settled. We had some security issues uh, and a few different things going on but all of those things have now been rectified. It has been, there's been a lot of building going on in the last two months. The guys have nearly finished building our five classrooms on the first level and so that's really cool. They'll be finished in the next two weeks and then we're about to move um, our 50 girls from their home into two of the classrooms until we can finish raising the funds uh, to build their house. So that's awesome. We've also been grading. We've got a new netball court and we're doing lots of new developments there. We've started our chicken project and our church has also been going amazingly. We sat after the Kingdom Conference, we sat down with some of the strategic new members in our church and we decided to uh, basically do a strategy of how we could be more effective in the community and in also building the Kingdom of God. And so one of the things that some of the members brought on board was to use sport as an evangelism tool. So we've created a soccer team and a netball team and uh, we've been practicing and we had our first match last Saturday. Unfortunately, we lost, but I'm pretty sure the community members were quite happy about that anyway. And what we're doing with the sports outreach is using that as a platform to then do crusades, to do movie nights, and to invite people to come along to church. We also then pray for people, we do home visits, and we've got a whole new evangelism team, and we're trying to be a lot more effective with what we're doing here in the community. So that's been a really exciting new development. Some more exciting news on a personal front for us. Uh, a couple of weeks ago we had a bit of a shock and found out that baby Sayuni number three is on the way. Uh, and to add to that excitement, this week we went for our first scan and found out that baby Sayuni number four has also joined the ranks. So we are having twins and still a little bit in shock, I must admit. So we're gonna have four kids, age four and under going to need a lot of help <laughs> but we'll be coming back to Australia now in February and giving birth sometime late March is the plan so uh, yeah exciting but also a bit shocking but you know God has it all under control so that's our news from Uganda for the last couple of months and we'll be back with you again in a few months to update you on what's going on here in Uganda thanks for praying for us thank you for supporting us um, thank you for all the messages uh, we really appreciate it. Love you guys. See you later.